Hello everybody, getting ready to do lesson 1.5 part 2 today, classwork for Algebra 1 Math. And on your classwork sheet today, you got 10 points, have that out ready to go students, and you'll have 12 points going to your notebook or your notebook guide, have that ready to go. Use a problem solving plan, part 2, students put your name, date, period here on your phone, your tablet, your paper, your drawer, your, I, your iPad, your PC, your Chromebook. And let's go into one of today's classwork lesson which is a notebook entry here solve a problem and look back solve the problem in example one by carrying out the plan then check your answer so remember in example one um, solve the problem write a verbal model then write an equation let s be the number of short blocks you run so remember here the length of short block miles per block times number of short blocks will be blocks plus length of a long block meaning another miles per block times the number of long blocks the, the number of long blocks equals the total distance so there is our verbal model for the uh, amount distance that was being ran and what we have length of the long block is 0.1 miles times the number of short blocks would be s plus uh, length of long long block which would be 0 0.15 miles times the number of long blocks which was 4 equals a total distance of 2 miles so the equation up here is 0.1 s plus uh, 0.6 equals 2 0.1 s and then 4 times 0.15 is 0.6 equals 2. One way to solve the equation is to use the strategy guess, check, and revise. So we could do that. Guess. Guess an even number that is easily multiplied by uh, 0 0.1. Let's say try 20. So if we check whether 20 is a solution, um, 0.1s plus uh, 0 0.6 equals 2 and then we plug in 20 here so this 20 times 0.1 plus 0.6 is that equal to and the answer is it's equals 2.6 this 20 times 0.1 would be 2 2 plus 6 does not equal 2 simplify 20 does not check so it's not it's not 20 uh, because 2.6 is greater than 2 Try an even number less than 20. Try 14. So check whether 14 is a solution. So we're going to go on a fishing trip here. 14. So 0.1s plus 0.6 equals 2. We plug in 14. 0.1 times 14 plus 0.6. Is that equal to? And well, it does. Uh, 2 equals 2 here. 0.1 times uh, 14 is uh, 1.4 plus 0.6 equals 2 so it does work out so to run two miles you should run 14 short blocks along with the four long blocks when you run so after um, adding uh, look back check your answer by making a table you run at 0.6 miles on long blocks we that's a fixed number there we want to know how many uh, short blocks you need to run to make it a two mile run so each two short blocks add 0.2 miles so with your table what you have here you have 0.6 and if you run zero short blocks you have 0.6 and then with two short blocks it'll be 0.8 because the short block is 0.1 so when you add uh, eight short blocks you have 1.4 1.4 here and when, when you add finally 14 short blocks, you've ran your two miles. So the total distance is two miles when you run four long blocks, <clears throat> four long blocks, and then uh, 14 short blocks. So the answer, so be four longs and then 14 shorts. The answer in step three is correct when you do that. And let's get into our guided now. Um, in exercise three, three through five, identify what you need, and this is three through five here, I do believe. 
Identify any missing or irrelevant information. You do not need to solve the problem. So distance running. One day Paul ran at a rate of 0.15 miles per minute for 40 minutes. The next day Paul and Jan ran together at a rate of 0.16 miles per minute for 50 minutes. How far did Paul run all together? So he has two days here running. Down here, um, which temperature was higher? So you got to figure that one out. Let's go up here and do our guided now with Paul running mileage. How far did Paul run all together? So we do know something here. The rate the runner uh, runs each day and how much time the runner spends running at that rate. So each day here, 0.15 per minute on day one for 40 minutes. So then, and then we have, uh, yeah, he ran 0.15 for 40 minutes. And then on the second day, you need to know. And so the solution will be the distance run the first day at 0 0.15 miles per minute for 40 minutes and the distance run the next day at 0 0.16 miles per minute for 50 minutes. What does that equal? The total distance run when those results are added together is 6 miles for uh, 0.15 times 40 and then 0.16 times 50 would be 8 miles so 6 miles plus 8 miles would equal 14 miles <laughs> and then for the independent is your lucky day students in your notebook or actually on your uh, uh, class your class worksheet you know the temperature in Rome in degrees Celsius the temperature in Dallas in degrees Fahrenheit. So you need to know the formula for converting Fahrenheit to Celsius, which is Celsius equals 5 ninths times F minus 32. And then what is 83 degrees uh, Fahrenheit equivalent to in degrees Celsius? Which temperature was higher? So here's the formula here that you need to do in your independent practice. And that's your lesson for today. Animated PowerPoint math video at ALO.com for questions or course materials. Thank you very much.